अंत मत से इंद्र आसना वन सेट इन दंडासना बेंड द लेफ्ट नी एंड जॉइन द थाई एंड काफ रेज द सीट फ्रॉम द फ्लोर प्लेस द लेफ्ट फुट अंडर द बटेक्स एंड सेट ऑन द लेफ्ट फुट सो दैट द लेफ्ट हील रेस्ट अंडर द लेफ्ट बटेक्स देन बेंड द राइट नी प्लेस इट by the outer side of the left thigh balance in this position keeping the right shin perpendicular to the floor turn the trunk 90 degrees to the right until the left armpit touches the outer side of the right thigh bring the armpit over the right knee exhale stretch the left arm from the shoulder and twist it round the right knee bend the left elbow and move the left wrist to the back of the waist the left arm should lock the bent right knee tightly and there should be no space between the left armpit and the bent right knee stay in this pose for a few seconds exhale Swing back the right arm from the shoulder bend the right elbow move the right hand behind the waist and either clasp it with the left one or vice versa The neck may be turned to the left and gaze at the center of the eyebrows The spinal twist will be greater if the neck is turned to the left then to the right stay in this pose for a few seconds with normal and deep breathing now release the hands remove the right foot from the floor and straighten the right and then the left leg and repeat the asana on the other side for the same length of time by the regular practice of this asan splitting back aches lumbago and pain in the hips disappear rapidly liver and the spleen are contracted and so are toned the muscles of the neck gain power the intestine also get benefit from this asan it also helps to reduce the size of the abdomen apart from this the prostate and bladder are not enlarged if regularly practiced this asan relax sit in dandasana
Sendra Asana 2. Sit in Dandasana. Bend the right knee and place the right foot at the root of the left thigh, pressing the heel against the navel. Exhale. Turn the trunk 90 degrees to the left. Swing the left arm from the shoulder behind the back. Bend the left elbow and with the left hand grasp the right ankle or shin. The left leg should remain stretched straight on the floor throughout and the sole of the left foot or the left big toe should be held by the right hand and the right arm should be kept straight. Stay in this pose for 30 to 60 seconds while trying to maintain normal breathing and then release the grip on the legs, straighten them and repeat the pose on the other side for the same length of time. The abdominal organs are toned by being contracted on one side and stretched on the other. Due to lateral twists of the spine, back aches, lumbago and pain in the hip joints disappear rapidly. The neck muscles become more powerful and the shoulder movements become easier. Relax, straighten the leg and sit in Dandasana. Asana 3. Sit in Dandasana. Bend the right knee and place the right foot at the root of the left thigh, pressing the heel against the navel. Bend the left knee, lift the left leg from the floor and place it by the outer of the right thigh. Then the outer side of the left ankle touches the outer side of the right thigh on the floor. Exhale, turn the trunk 90 degrees to the left and bring the right shoulder over the left knee. Do not leave any space between the right armpit and the left thigh and hold the left foot with the right hand. Swing the left arm behind the back, bending it at the elbow and rest the hand at the back. Turn the neck to the left, raise the chin and gaze either at the center of the eyebrows or at the tip of the nose. Stay in this pose for 30 to 60 seconds, breathing deeply and evenly. This asan exercises and massages the abdominal organs and keeps them healthy. It tones the spine and keeps it elastic. Release your hold on the left foot. 
lift it over the left thigh and relax. Mm -hmm.